Hello there, art classes. Mr. K here in the garage again with you for another art lesson. And today we're going to talk about something that you've probably seen in your classrooms every day when you're there. But you don't really think about it that much. Flags. What's on the flag? Why are they there? What, what are all the symbols on the flag? What does all that represent? So that's what we're going to do today, except instead of drawing just an American flag, which is cool if you want to do one of those two on your own, you can. But what we're going to do today is you're going to draw a flag that talks about you, tells us a little bit about you. So our standard for this today is create works of art about events in home, school, or community. And our objective is create a personal flag that represents your life. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at the United States flag. It has 13 stripes for the 13 original colonies and 50 stars that represent each of the 50 states. I made a sample flag to show a little bit about myself. I'm from California, so I have the waves in there to represent the beach. I have the corn because a lot of my family, like my grandparents, they were all from Nebraska and they have a lot of corn there. And I like corn. I mean, who doesn't really? And I really love baseball. So I have a baseball bat in there. All these things show a little bit about who I am. So for materials for today, the only real definite material you have to have is a piece of paper. Preferably put it landscape, which is that kind of sideways, the wide way. Uh, other than that, it's whatever you want to decorate your flag with. Uh, I'm going to use some crayons today. You could use markers, you could use paint, you could use colored pencil, you could use highlighters, you could use combination of any of those. Uh, my only suggestion is don't put markers on top of crayon. It kind of messes up your marker for later on. Uh, other than that, materials is just kind of up to you, whatever you have and whatever you want to use. The big thing that we need to think about for our flag is what are some ideas about you that you want to tell us about. So for your flag, you might want to think about talking about your family. Are there any activities that you're really into that you want to talk about? Are there any things that are favorites of yours? Favorite foods, favorite movies, favorite games? And you want to think about some symbols. What are some symbols that could represent these things? Now, we don't have to draw a full picture of, if you like baseball, you don't have to draw a full baseball game. So for me, I like baseball. I'm going to talk about that. I obviously like art. I'm going to talk about that. And also my family is very important to me. So I'm going to include some information about my family and my flag. So let's see here. I've got my crayons. I'm going to do those in a moment. I'm going to start with my pencil. And... Let's see what happens here. So for mine, let's see here. I uh, have Mrs. K and I have two kids, my son and my daughter, they're twins. So maybe I could put, since they're important to me, they're like a star in my life. I could put a great big star in the middle. That could be Mrs. K. And I will put some other stars on the sides. Those could be for my kids. And those stars, it's like these lines come straight down. If you want to do the lines like this and then erase them later, you can. You don't have, do you have to do a star though to represent something? No. You could do a diamond shape. You could do, uh, you know, any of the, uh, on cards, hearts, diamonds, clubs, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. You can make circles, you can make squares, you can make triangles, however you want to show it. If there's something in particular that is important to that one person, you could do that. 
Okay, so I've got my three stars. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, we have a dog. We have a dog named Lily. I'll put a little star down here for Lily. Now, one thing about Lily, she's got one ear that flops over and it's super, super cute. So I'll put the one little star down here. And just for Lily, I will put, messed up my star a little bit. I will make that one star have a, whoops, I forgot already. It's gonna flop over on the top. And make it look like the top is folded over just for Lily. There, that's my Lily star. And I really, really love art. So I'm gonna make a big paintbrush across the top. Got the bristles here. There, I've got my, I've got my family. I've got Lily. I've got my activity that I enjoy a lot. I'll put all those things together. I like baseball a lot, but I did that on the other, other flag. So I'm gonna go with this. Now you can also do some colors in here if you want. If there's something in particular that matters a lot to you, that you want to include in here, you can put some stripes. You can put uh however you want to do it. a big circle in the back you could have a lot of white on it you could have it all colored in it's all up to you each of these flags is going to look totally different because they're going to be all about you so however you want to make that happen that's your call i'm going to go ahead and color this one and let's see what it ends up looking like <music> flag. Uh, I could have colored in the background with some of their colors too, but I didn't want to take up too much time with coloring here on the video. But you now I, the, I have reasons. These colors symbolize something on each of these stars. My wife's favorite color is green. Uh, I got one for my son, one for my daughter. She really likes purple. And I have Lily... Our dog is a girl dog, and she has a little kind of reddish pinkish collar, so I, I went with that collar for her. And I've got my paintbrush up at the top. A lot of times when I've done this in the past, I've had maybe one stripe of color in the background here, maybe three different stripes. They could go up and down. You see that on a lot of different countries, different flags. Stripe, big stripes going up, or down, or across. The United States flag has all those little uh, stripes. So however you want to do it, they can go diagonally across here. Whatever you want to do, you could have colors in the background. You could leave it blank. Find something that represents you and tells us all about you. That is the main thing on this project. So again, whatever materials you want to use, however you want to do it, you do not have to draw a picture of a bunch of stuff. You need to draw some something that symbolizes who you are and what you're all about. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these and hoping to connect with you guys later. And I will talk to you next time. Have a good one.